good morning. It's Friday, January 3rd. I'm en route to the oral surgeon to have my lower mandibular tori removed. Those are the bones on the bottom between my teeth that are growing towards one another. Let me show you. Yeah, I'm gonna have those bad boys cut out and then uh, document my recovery over the next few days. And thanks to my sweet wife for driving me and taking care of me. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Two hours later. Two hours later. I'm leaving the doctor's office. And we're leaving the doctor's office. I have a mouth full of gauze. He has a mouth full of gauze. And we go home. We're going home. And I didn't understand that. I'm going to eat Mexican food. We're going to eat Mexican food. Not. No. <laughs> and go home and go to bed. I have no idea. And then go home and go to bed. Go to sleep. We're going straight home. Nowhere else. And then go to sleep. Oh, you're going to get a shake? No, I'm going to go to night night. Yes, he's going to go to sleep. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Hello. It's the evening of the surgery and I survived. So let me tell you about my morning. So I had to be there at 8.45 and park out back by the patient exit. It was, the inside of the room was like a dentist office. They put a blood pressure cuff on me. They put oxygen in, in my nose, gave me an IV, laid me back, and they were talking to me. As they were talking to me, apparently I went to sleep. Next thing I know, I wake up and it's over with. They're giving me gauze bandages to take home. They'd been putting pressure on the surgical sites to try to get the bleeding to stop. And so we drove home, changed the bandage out. I went to bed for a couple hours, woke up, and then kind of got in the routine of saying, let's get this bleeding to stop. It, it probably was more post-surgical blood than the first time. That's just the way it was this time. But um, we worked on that this afternoon, watching television. It's all good, it's all done. I had a milkshake from Sonic, courtesy of my wonderful wife. And then later was able to have my dinner, which was mashed potatoes. I still have not taken any pain medicine. They did offer a prescription, but I still had pain medicine from July when I had the first surgery done. So I just said, no, I'll use those if I need them. I am feeling some pain kind of lower back end, and that's where the bleeding was most. So. Um, We'll see if I need to take those tonight or not to sleep. I have not yet. Then um, what else? Been drinking water. So let me show you what they did. So that's the bone that was protruding into my mouth from one side. And here's the bone on the other side. So those are the bones you saw in the initial video from yesterday. I'm glad to have those out. That'll be nice to have those out. So um, when I can figure out how to do it, I'll probably give you a shot of the inside because I really haven't looked at it well myself, but I have noticed that the stitches that they use, they're on the inside, the sutures to sew me back up. Some of them, at least, they've ran through the gaps in my teeth and tied them on the other side. So I've got stitches and the little knots on the outside of my teeth on the front and down the side. So uh, that's not a big deal, but it's just there. So it'll be there in my pretty smile for the next few days. So I'm not anticipating any further problems. I doubt that I'll have black eye because the surgery was down here. But I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted over the next couple of days to tell you what my recovery's like. 
I know there's a lot of you out there that might be considering doing this surgery and thinking about, well, what's it like? Um, that's why I'm doing this video because there's probably somebody out there Googling tori removal right now and can, and hopefully you found this video and it was helpful for you. So there you go. That's all for tonight. Hello y'all. It's now the day after surgery. It's uh, late afternoon. I'm doing really good. I have very limited pain. I did have pain like in the evening last night under here. Um, I actually did take some pain medicine in order to sleep. Not exactly sure what that's associated with. Um, it seems like they probably had to move my tongue around quite a bit and maybe I'm sore from that. My tongue has a little soreness to it. Um, I've been able to rinse my mouth today, which is wonderful with some warm salt water. I've eaten well. I'm not eating anything, obviously, like chips or taco shells or nothing. I'm um, just soft diet and I'm uh, doing good. So, I mean, so far, it's been a real good recovery. I'm real pleased. So, talk to you later. Hey, y'all. It's Sunday afternoon now, two full days after my surgery. I'm doing great. This is probably going to be my last video because I don't really have anything else to share. Um, I'm just doing good. I'm actually eating. I had Mexican food for lunch. I didn't have any crunchy taco shells, though, but I did have... Um, you know some spicy stuff so um, I think I'm doing well I'm real pleased so I'll just I'll show you the inside of my mouth just so you can compare it to the original and then hey we'll call it a wrap so anyway here we go yeah pretty impressive huh so yeah, I had all those chunks taken out. I've still got, of course, the stitches. I mean, I don't know if you can even tell. The teeth here, like, there's stitches coming through them from the inside. The stitches go out between the, between the teeth and tie outside. I've got that pretty much all the way around. Um, so I can tell they're there. So I'll be dealing with the stitches for a while. I think the first time I had the surgery, the stitches, some of them stayed like a long time. So I'll be dealing with that for a while, but that's okay. So, I mean, I'm good. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to work tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, but it's all good. So I'm glad I did it. And uh, it was a, so far a good experience and I'm looking forward to life without the, those bones in my mouth. So if this helped anybody, that's awesome. Um, I, I will say one thing, I really appreciate my doctor because, I mean, we're walking through Walmart yesterday. He calls me on his personal cell phone. He calls me to check on me. Um, and he had done that the first time. And so I thought that was pretty cool because he's reaching out directly to me personally the day after the surgery. And I didn't need anything, but it was the, the fact that he did that was pretty cool. So uh, I'm in Fort Worth. If you are looking for a surgeon in Fort Worth, message me uh, at the bottom of this video and uh, I'll let you know who it was. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye.